Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Hey Calvary, hope you're doing great today. Uh, you should be because the scripture says that this is the day that the Lord has made, so let's rejoice and be glad in it. Uh, today, today we're gonna be reading through Matthew chapter 26, verses 31 through 35, and this is where Jesus predicts Peter's denial of him. Uh, so just for context here, Jesus and his disciples were finishing up at the Last Supper in the upper room, and they all just sung a song together, and now they're heading out to the Mount of Olives together. And on the way there, Jesus uh, is speaking to his disciples. So uh, in verse 31, it says, this, Jesus says, This very night you will all fall away on account of me, for it is written, I will strike the shepherd, and the sheep of the flock will be scattered. But after I have risen, I will go ahead of you into Galilee. Peter replied, Even if all fall away on account of you, I never will. Jesus said, Truly I tell you, this very night before the rooster crows, you will disown me three times. But Peter declared, Even if I have to die with you, I will never disown you. And all the other disciples said the same. So Jesus starts out by saying, Look, tonight you're all going to forsake me. And he even references an, an Old Testament passage in Zechariah uh, 13.7. And you know, in typical Jesus fashion, always fulfilling prophecy, he says, I will strike the shepherd and the sheep of the flock will be scattered. So in other words, take out the leader and the followers will be lost and dispersed. And then Peter says, so boastfully confident that all may fall, but never him. In your walk with Jesus, have you ever had a confidence similar to Peter's? where you maybe thought that you were somehow impervious to sin or disappointing God? I know I have. I, I remember soon after I surrendered my life to the Lord, he was preparing me for ministry and, and I was offered a job that I knew I was gonna hate, uh, but I knew the Lord was calling me into this job and, and I was so fired up and uh, very overzealous. I, I was like, fine, Lord, I'm gonna work there, but as long as, uh, as long as I do, I'm going to tell the whole office about you in hopes that I get fired so you'll find me a new job. <laughs> uh, anyhow, I was spreading Jesus throughout the office, uh, but one day in particular, uh, I was talking to a coworker, uh, just a small talk really, but my coworker casually asks me what type of music I listen to. Seems like a simple question, right? But uh, for whatever reason, I clammed up and I hesitated to share that I like worship music. I had a simple opportunity to, to, to take an open door to share Jesus with this coworker, and I didn't. And I felt so guilty that later on that day, I did go back and share with him my affinity for, for worship music. Uh, but I was so confused as to why I denied this opportunity to share. I, I, I thought I had so, so much confidence. Um, and I'm sure at some point in, in all of our lives, uh, we, you know, we have stories like that. And in no way am I comparing this situation to Peter's, but uh, let's put ourselves in Peter's shoes just for one second here. Peter was one of the disciples that literally walked with Jesus and literally witnessed all kinds of incredible miracles. I'd probably have the same confidence as well. Um, Peter's confidence and maybe pride and arrogance, though, wouldn't allow him to heed to Jesus' words that in a matter of hours, he would deny Jesus three times. Uh, I'm so grateful for God's grace and mercy in all the times I've denied and forsaken him because he said that he will never forsake us. Even in the passage when he's telling his disciples, look, I know you are all going to fail me, but I won't fail you. He says in verse 32, but after I have risen, I will go ahead of you into Galilee, that his death was not final. He will meet them again. Look, God wants us to be confident. There are many verses in the Bible about confidence, but it's always confidence in Him. We can never have an attitude that we are susceptible. I'm sorry, we will never have, we should never have an attitude that we are not susceptible to sin. We have to remain humble, always staying rooted in the Word. Jeremiah 17, 7 says, says, blessed is the one that trusts in the Lord whose confidence is in Him. I hope this message blesses you. Have a great day.